Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on uh, our 2005 Ford F-350 uh, with the awesome 6.0 in it. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to be replacing the engine harness uh, and also we've got to fix a crack in the Y pipe. Uh, the Ford here has got 500,000 miles on it. Uh, it's been used, uh, used hard, you know, rode hard, put away wet most of its life. This is my brother's truck, uh, and it uh, originally was purchased by my dad back in 05, and uh, it's been used its whole life to haul freight. Um, it's done a lot of towing, lots of uh, lots of hard work, uh, but it's been well maintained. You know, uh, it's it was a work truck, and it was uh, treated well, and uh, very well maintained. But over all those miles and harsh road conditions, you know it's got some wear and tear and and the the main issues we need to address are the engine harness is uh... you know really worn out there's there's a lot of uh... rubbed wires that are almost bare uh, i'm sure there are some bare and broken wires in some of that harness um, a lot of the plugs are broken and uh... it's just it's got some some random electrical issues that are caused by the chafed wires and broken wires and broken plugs and it's just uh and it just needs to be replaced. So we've got a new harness on the way. Um, we're gonna we're gonna wait to pull the actual harness out until we get the new harness, so that we don't have to do a lot of fishing around and trying to figure out where things plug in. We'll just we'll, we'll be able to uh, easily label everything based off the harness that's already in the truck. So I'm only gonna disconnect a few things that I need to to get uh, to get prepared to pull that harness out. Um, but I am going to work on pulling the turbo today. I want to get the turbo out of there, get the Y pipes out of there, and find the crack that's in the in the Y pipe. It's on the driver's side, and uh, fix the crack. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna drill out the crack, weld it up, and uh, put a put a good patch over the top of it as well to reinforce that crack point. I'm gonna try and figure out why it cracked. I don't know. Um, you know this truck's had a lot of service in its life. The bed or the, the body's been off a bunch of times at the at the uh, diesel shop that they take these trucks to. So a lot of the wear and tear is just from all the years of service. You know the 6.0s, uh, they need a lot of love, and this truck's had a lot of love. But I don't know if the cracks just uh, just from heat cycles, lots of heat cycles on that turbo, lots of work on that uh, on that Y pipe, or uh, or if there's some kind of misalignment. Uh, that that's in place on the pedestal, the turbo pedestal, or something that's causing it to be at a weird angle that's stressing, um, stressing uh, the bend and causing it to crack. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and get the turbo out of there and see uh, if I can determine, you know, what may have contributed to the cracking, and hopefully just uh, just welding it up, uh, repairing the problem, and uh, putting a good reinforcement over the top of that will prevent future cracks in that same location. But um, I don't know. It depends on depends on what may have caused it. So as you know, the turbos on these 6.0s are buried underneath the uh, wiper cowl there at the very back of the firewall. So I'm going to have uh, my hands full getting that thing out of there. Um, and so the first thing I've got to do is start pulling things out. I've got to get the uh, air filter and air intake duct out of the way. I've got to uh, get the charge pipe uh, that goes to the intercooler out of the way. Um, the the uh, coolant coolant reservoir. Uh, also has to get out of there. So I'm going to start disconnecting things and uh, removing things and hopefully I can get to that turbo here uh, sometime today and, uh, and try and get that removed. So enough talking, I'm going to get to work. So this rear van, B-band clamp, 
from the Y pipes is really hard to get to. I can only get one click of my ratchet every pull. I'm going to reverse that so I can get to it from the front to tighten it up. They put it on this way because when these trucks are serviced at the shop, they take the whole body off. Or at least take the cab off so they can get to the back of the motor. And I'm sure it's real easy to get to when you're standing there behind it. But when you're laying on top of it, it's not so easy to get to. You know, this is, this is a thing with any auto mechanic function job. You have to be persistent. You know, you go, you go one nut at a time, one bolt at a time, one component at a time. And as long as you stay determined and realize that there was a man that put that part together, which means that any other man can take it apart. So back here is our Y-pipe and our turbine inlet here. And this is the V-band clamp in the orientation I'm going to put it back in, where you can see the nut here I'm touching. And it's a straight shot. I could reach this with my ratchet or my impact and an extension and I would have had this V-band clamp loose in 10 seconds instead of 10 minutes. So when I put it back together that's where the clamp's going to go. You know, part of doing these kinds of jobs is finding ways to make it easier on the next guy. Especially if that next guy's you. Well that's uh, that's concerning. That could be what led to the crack in the Y pipe. There's only one bolt in that turbo. The other one, which I'd already seen earlier, that was missing. Uh, so that means we had two bolts out of three that had fallen loose, come loose, and were not in uh, in the pedestal holding the turbo down. Okay, guys. So I've got to run down to the store here real quick. I'm going to take the uh, 7.3 diesel and. Uh, the last couple times I've had to start it up here, uh, we've been getting, it's been, uh, it's been pretty cranky, you know, it gets pretty cold, uh, well, it's getting cold here for Southern California at night in the 40s, and, and usually uh, the 7.3 is a little cranky and hard start here in the morning, so I'm going to strap the camera on the hood there and uh, see if we can get a, a good, uh, some good cold start footage of the, uh, of the 7.3 IDI coming to life. Now my family's from North Dakota so I know what cold is so we'll, we'll just call this a, a California cold start and see uh, see how the 7.3 feels today. Uh, 
I've got headliner material. I'm going to pull the headliner out and redo uh, redo the headliner, and uh, and then repair all the door panels. I've got to repair some of the steel structure on the inside of the doors. Because I've got some cracking in the sheet metal where the door handles attach and where the handle pull is on the on the door panel itself. The rivets for all of the window regulators are loose and the regulators plop around in there. This truck's just lived a hard life. Been beat on and abused its whole life. And, you know, maybe some people would call it a lost cause, but uh, it's not the first uh, first turn I've run home that everybody else rode off. So uh, I've uh, I've managed to impress people before with you know some hard work, some determination. I kind of. Uh, get some satisfaction out of proving to other people that you can you can make something nice and you can do it fairly quickly with, with some hard work some planning buying the right parts well guys uh, I'm gonna call it a day uh, on the 6.0 here it's gonna have to be a two-part project I got the turbo out, I got most of the wire harness disconnected that we need to disconnect. Uh, I got the batteries out of there and the battery trays out. The, uh, the thing that's giving me a hard time, I literally have one more bolt to get the Y pipe out. Um, by looking a little closer after I got the turbo out, I think that the crack is in the, uh, in the top bellows on the driver's side. Uh, there's two types of bellows on the Y pipe. There's a metal bellows and a mesh bellows. So there's actually three bellows between the two sides on the Y pipe. There's a metal bellows on the passenger side. There's a mesh bellows on the driver's side. And then below that is another metal bellows. And the mesh bellows, I think, is where the crack resides. So we're going to have to replace the Y pipe on the 6.0. So that's what I think anyway. Until I get it out and can visually inspect it, I think either we're going to have to cut that mesh bellows out and replace it with a solid piece of pipe, or uh, we're just going to have to replace the whole Y pipe, which is extra expense that we didn't want to spend on this. You know, I'm, I'm doing this 6.0 project for my brother. Um, he needs the truck up and running as soon as he can get it, and we're waiting on the wire harness. Uh, it looks like we're probably going to be waiting on a Y pipe as well. I'll know more once I get the pipe out. Uh, and I found the cause of the crack. Um, the turbo has three mounting bolts and uh, for whatever reason the last time this turbo was worked on this truck was was worked on uh, they swapped turbos between the 05 and the 06 F350 that my dad and my brother had. Uh, my brother wanted the bigger turbo on this truck uh, my dad didn't need it on his uh, his truck and unfortunately the last time it was worked on when they remounted that turbo they must not have torqued uh, two of the three bolts that mount the turbo to the pedestal uh, because two of the bolts were missing. They were laying in the top of the intake valley. So we didn't lose them. I was able to dig them out of the intake valley with the magnet, uh, but there was only one bolt holding the turbo to the pedestal, and that's what caused the crack, I think. Uh, the turbo was able to, to move enough, uh, I think, that it was it cracked that bellows. But I'm not an expert on 6.0s. It's possible that that's a common failure point, and uh, I'm going to look into that and see what we can do to replace the Y pipe. I don't think that welding in a rigid piece of pipe in place of that 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 mesh bellows is a good idea. Um, but if we have to, and they're ridiculously expensive, then that's how I'm going to fix the problem. So that's it for me today, guys. I started getting in some of my parts for the uh, for my 7.3 diesel. Uh, to work on the door panels, so hopefully I can get this thing finished next week and get to work on those door panels. Uh, and I'll tell you, I much prefer uh, fab work and building things than I do uh, uh, turning wrenches. Uh, 
So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please click like and subscribe. And if you've got any tips for me on getting this Y-pipe out, leave them in the comments below. I'll take uh, any, any help I can get.